What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Austin aka Duck Koala and welcome back to another Hooked video and today guys I have a banger story for you. If you guys are excited make sure to leave a like down below and remember to subscribe to the channel for daily scary stories from your boy and I know I don't really plug it all too often but if you guys wouldn't mind following me on Snapchat I have it right here on the screen. Check it out. Go add your boy. I actually have like a bunch of behind the scenes stuff for my videos and like my life and everything on there. So if you you guys find that interesting make sure you guys go check that out and i would also appreciate it if you guys went and followed my twitter as well right there on the screen guys get me to 2,000 followers we're almost there i know i don't plug my social media all too much but i'm gonna go ahead and start doing it a lot more from now on but i have a question to ask you guys what would you do if you got a text message from someone that claimed to be you from the future and it ended up being true today i'm bringing you guys a story call from the future by wesley hopper i hope you guys enjoy make sure to leave a like and here we go guys here's call from the future enjoy carrie carrie answer me stop kissing blake and answer me who is this someone who knows you well i don't know this number i just need you to listen sorry blocking you no don't Listen, the next five minutes are the most important in your entire life. Who is this for real, Chloe? No, I'm not Chloe. Seriously, I'm not in the mood. Neither am I. If you know me so well, what's my middle name? Lillian. After your grandmother. She died when you were seven, you were too embarrassed to cry, and you felt guilty ever since. How do you know that? Because I know. Who are you? It doesn't matter. You're freaking me out. Good. I need you to listen. We don't have much time. If you don't leave us alone, we're calling the police. Is this still Carrie? No, it's her boyfriend. Blake. Yeah, and my dad knows the police chief, so... I need you to hand the phone back to Carrie. Not until you tell us who you are. Hand me back, or I'll tell her about Amber. Okay. What did you say to him? I need you to focus. Who's Amber? He's gone. You ruined my night. Where's Joey? Why are you doing this to me? Where is Joey, Carrie? You're supposed to be babysitting, aren't you? He's in his room. Are you sure? Oh my god, who are you? You need to go find Joey now. Tell me who you are. You won't believe me. I'm not moving till you tell me. I know you better than anyone. I know you really broke the mirror in your parents' bedroom. I know you still played with dolls until the 8th grade. I know Blake wants to move faster and you're thinking about it, but you wonder if he's the right one. Why do you know so much? Are you spying on me? I know because I'm you. If this is Chloe, you're in so much trouble. Does Chloe know about the time you set the bed on fire? You told your parents it was an electrical short, but you really were playing with matches. And you never told anyone, ever. Does Chloe know that? You're really freaking me out. Good, because you have less than two minutes to save our future. What's going to happen? Go find Joey. Now. Okay. He's not in his room. He's outside. No way, he can't open doors. This time he did. The door's open! There's no time, you have to hurry. Where? Take a right. Go down Portnoy. I don't see him. Hurry, Carrie. Run. He's not here. He's headed for the boulevard. What's going to happen? Never mind. Cut through the park. It's our only chance. Go. I'm lost. You don't know the park? No. Right. We didn't go there until after the accident. What accident? The one I'm trying to prevent. Give me some landmarks. Hurry. Trees? Look around. Is there a big rock? Yes, up ahead. Go there. I'm here. We're not going to make it. No, tell me. This was my one chance. Stop, what do I do? Can you hear the cars? Yes. Head toward the sound. Just run through the trees. It's our only hope. I'm here, I'm on the boulevard. I don't see him. Look in the road. Oh God. Still time? Are you there? I did it. It hit me. But I saved him. What happens? Now. Feel sleepy. Why is it cold? 
Do we live? Carry? There we go, guys. So that was a uh, call from the future. I thought that would be a cool little like short story to read for you guys. I thought it was actually really good. I always really enjoy Wesley Hopper stories, but basically, essentially what happened is Carrie ended up, you know, she contacted herself from the past or, you know, her future self contacted her and she was able to save the little boy's life, but she ended up costing her her own life. And you would think that, you know, since she was from the future and she saw the th these things happening, she'd be able, you know, be a little bit better about saving this kid's life and not losing her own, but whatever. But I hope you guys enjoyed the story. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. If you guys like the little like short fast stories like that, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you guys have a series or maybe a, a story that you guys want me to read on Hooked that you personally have read and you really, really liked, let me know in the comment section down below. I would definitely appreciate it. I'll definitely check them out. But once again, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video. This has been your boy Austin, aka Duck Koala. Peace out.